Hey guys, uh, today's topic of the video is going to be about an important topic in discourse analysis, in linguistics, in whatever name it. Name it whatever it is. So, cohesion is has become a very important topic since students are opting literature and linguistics with literature and there is a huge role of cohesion and 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 another associated with what cohesion with it so the word cohesion has become so but before starting i will suggest you to subscribe to my channel is and and also uh, follow me on instagram so that you can get all the literary updates and in this video we'll be covering it's a detailed video you don't have to worry about anything if you're watching this video because it is uh, because no detail is left uh, obscure in this video we will be discussing the introduction and definition of cohesion what are cohesive devices uh, its difference with uh, its comparison with coherence types of cohesion and lexical cohesion and its types and grammatical cohesion and its types and there is a lot more about cohesion in this video so the word cohesion has been appearing in different subjects and has relatively same meaning of sticking together if you are a computer student or biological interested person or a chemistry lover or have a passion for literature and linguistics it is certain that you have heard this word of cohesion but today video is all about the meanings and types and usage of uh, cohesion in literature yes you have heard right another friend of cohesion is coherence and i will cover that topic tomorrow but make sure that you are a subscriber to this channel so starting with the introduction and definition of cohesion it's a relation of meaning which exists between the text and justify it as a text how it makes a text functions um, and as a single unit how a text functions as a single unit we will discuss the cohesive devices and you will get the idea clearly then uh, to achieve cohesion, how we bring a co cohesion to a text? How we bring cohesion to a text when there are certain elements that tie up the various sentences together in a text. Cohesion brings grammatical and lexical unity in the text. Without cohesion, there is no meaning of the text. So, before going a little further, let's have an idea of uh, things which bring unity to the text. And these things work as devices. And these are cohesive devices. These, these devices stick um, a text together and brings a, uh, brings a unity to that. And these are called cohesive devices. The elements that are used to bring unity to the text are called cohesive devices. These are also called linking words. We have heard that name before, I think. Uh, linkers, connectors, discourse markers, or transitional devices or transition words. So, in example, for example, in conclusion, for however, furthermore, moreover, uh, these kind of words, it briefly, in short, these are the cohesive devices you could have uh, known these words before so i think that that's clear to you now but and now moving towards the fixation of you and another stumbling concepts of the difference between cohesion and coherence so differentiating between coherence versus uh, and co cohesion these both terms are commonly used together so we have uh, the option to discuss these both together so cohesion is in which different parts of text are linked together and in coherence uh, coherence is that in which ideas in a text are linked logically in cohesion um, we are fo focusing towards the binding of the text structurally while in coherence we have to bind the text 
logically so that it gives some meanings so that's clear to you i think now cohesion is a textual property that fosters coherence coherence is the property of context in what context we are talking about and um and cohesion brain uh, co- cohesion um cohesion is brought as cohesive devices guide the reader in a text process Halliday and Hassan says that cohesion is a textual property signaled by semantic relation between lexical items and grammatical structures which overtly connect clauses and clause complexes in a text so moving towards the main types of cohesions there are two main types of cohesions grammatical cohesion and lexical cohesion grammatical cohesion refers to the structural context of a text whereas lexical cohesion refers to the language content of the piece moving towards the grammatical cohesion grammatical cohesion is a contra- c- c- constructed by the grammatical structures each structures tie the other there are four types of grammatical cohesion first is conjunction that also a part of speech ellipsis substitution and reference let's move towards their um intro a brief introduction and their concepts conjunction what is conjunction i'm not going too much into details because everything is already detailed dealt in the, on the slides so i will only giving um the crux of some uh, concepts so what is conjunction a specification of the way in which what is to follow is systematically connected to what has gone before halidan has sans mentioned four types of conjunctions additive second is adversative third is casual and fourth is temporal in additive we add something like add in addition to similarly furthermore in adversative we expresses opposition or contrast between two statements we 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 did describe it by using what but however nevertheless on the other hand in third which is ca- casual we use uh, so consequently for this reason and in this casual um, conjunctions we use words and phrases which are used to introduce a cause reason or explanation for a given action so for this for this we use uh, such conjunctions next comes uh, the temporal conjunctions what are temporal conjunctions these these are these describes time like use using when at last finally then after all like these these are the some conjunctions next come ellipses ellipses is a second uh, grammatical cohesion types of grammatical cohesion and the process in which one terms within uh, within a text or discourse is omitted or replaced by nothing it occurs when something that is structurally necessary is left unsaid as it is understood already Haridan Hassan says where there is ellipsis there is presupposition what is substitution substitution is um substitution and ellipsis are quite similar so let's get an idea substitution is the replacement of one item with other another and ellipsis is the omission of an item certain kinds of substitutions include first is non nominal substitution second is verbal substitution and third is uh, clausal substitution in nominal substitution we replace noun with one once or same in third in second verbal substitution we replace ver- uh, verbs with do did or another auxiliary verb in third uh, clausal substitution replacement of clause with uh, so or not so uh, fourth is reference 
and it occurs when one term when item in text points to another item for its interpretation for example referring the boy with they it has two main further types endophora and exophora endophora is textual whereas exophora is situational how when in endophora when the interpretation of reference lies within the text whereas exophora is when the interpretation of reference lies beyond the text for example in endophora referring the boys with they in the story avoids repetition whereas in exophora referring the audience or the writer with you or i in a novel refers from outside the text so that's the uh, difference between the types of reference so second type of cohesion after grammatical cohesion is lexical cohesion it deals with the meaning of the text there is the cohesive effect achieved by the selection of vocabulary that's what halden hasan says about lexical cohesion it concerns the way in which lexical items relate to each other and to other cohesive devices so that textual continuity is created there are two types of lexical cohesion reiteration and collocation let's define what is reiteration that's the second last slide don't panic watch it closely it is the reiteration um repetition re reiteration actually the re repetition of a lexical item or the occurrence of a synonym of some kind in a context of reference that that is where the two occurrences have the same referent reiteration could be in form of repetition synonym hyponym and general words what is collocation that's last topic um a word that is in some way associated with another word in the preceding text because it is a direct repetition of it or is in some sense synonymous with it or tend to occurring the same lexical environment collocation uh, is probably the hardest lexical cohesion to analyze for example to take a risk to damage do the job etc so um i think that's clear to you all i have i haven't give any further explanation because the things are pretty clear in this video so thanks for watching and also subscribe to watch the another subsequent video which is coherence so thanks for watching i hope you like or dislike this video also comment in the comment box for further inquiry and do subscribe to my channel thank you